Apple must release a smartwatch in 60 days or it's all over. I've got a Garmin Vivo Fit on my wrist. Woo, woo. Whether they do that, the best thing to do is enable an ecosystem that those work best with iOS. You know, Apple is not a technology company. They don't think, oh, this is a great chipset. What can we do? They think, this is a feature set we want. How can we enable it? I think the opportunity for Apple really lies in the software and the user experience and really being able to tie in the whole iOS and Mac ecosystem into your, your living room experience as well. If I want to go and watch a television show right now, I've got tons of options, right? It might be on Netflix, it might be on Hulu, it might be on the iTunes store, but it needs to find a way to bring it together and simplify it. There's sort of this, this general trend now and theme that everybody's embracing, which is dumb glass smart box. Let's shift gears and talk about the Mac. This is Mac World slash iWorld. Remember the Mac? Yay, the hey, Mac! Hey, the Mac! Previously, they couldn't make a Retina Air just because you didn't have enough battery. But now you're getting to the point where, you know, that's a, a really viable product now. If Apple could get to, say, 20, 30 percent of the overall uh, annual PC shipments, shipments, that would be a tremendous revenue boost for them. The iPad and the, and the MacBooks are getting closer and closer together. And we can see the trends in both cases, Retina displays, longer battery life, solid state storage. But I think there are still two distinct paths there going forward. Thank <laughs> you.